Hey everyone, uh, Scott here, Montreal Car Care, uh, for the next step in uh, the Tesla Live video package. So, uh, just as a reminder, so this, this video is about uh, PPF. My plan is to uh, PPF basically the entire car. So, every, every painted body surface. I'm not going to PPF the glass top or the shield, which you can also do. So, uh, just as a reminder, uh, took delivery uh, about less than a week ago now, about six days ago, five days ago. And um, since then, uh, from a detailing perspective, paint perspective, um, I did the wheel, clean the wheels, clean the wheel wells, the wheels eventually, the wheels and tires are gone, we replaced them, but I um, just wanted to clean, uh, just so the car was spotless. I decontaminated the paint, so I did a full iron out removal um, on it to get contaminants out of the paint. Um, lots and lots of iron on the paint. I'm assuming they, they truck these things via um, railroad um, across the country. So uh, lots of lots of iron. Other than that, it was pretty clean. Had a few pieces of adhesive and stuff where the stickers were from the car. With that, um, didn't need to play hard. It was it was other than that, it was very clean. Taking a hand and lightly rub it over it, put a plastic bag over your hand, rub it. If you feel any, if it's not super smooth, then you have contaminants and you might get a clear um, So, got all that done, um, did a quick um, IPA and alcohol wipe down on it just to make sure I got everything off it. And then I uh, polished it. it. took me, I don't know, I did a full one step and then a few spot, a few spot treatments here and there. I, I did a little bit heavier, heavier compound just to get a few marks out. But um, otherwise, it took me, I don't know, six, six hours to do the whole car, and it's, um, it's, it's amazing. This is, this is It looks fantastic. It is, it was actually in pretty bad shape. Um, it had some sanding circles here, a couple marks on the back from sanding, and then it was just swirled up big time. Um, Lots and lots of I'm assuming Tesla washed it, so I'm assuming they um, they I don't know if they took it through a tunnel wash or hand washed it. I couldn't. It, it looked like a hand wash to me, um, but it's it's just it, it shined up great. It's super clean now. It's um, it's spotless. There's I probably got ninety five percent paint recovery, so it's ninety five percent. Not any scratches. There were a few scratches on the door jam of the driver's side. I'm guessing folks get in and out, so I think that up, that cleaned up it too. So basically, it's good. I also did badge removal. Um, I forgot to say that, so there's a video out there. Badge removal. Uh, took the front badge off, plus the rear key badge and the dual motor badge. The dual motor badge is not going back on. I think the T badges are going to go back on, but in a black, probably matte black to match the rest of the black. Don't go back on after um, after a PPF. So I'm now down to the PPF time. So I'm going to take you through. I'm not an expert on PPF. Um, never really PPF before, um, but I decided as I don't know the detailing business. I am going to get into PPF at some point here in the, in the future, probably sooner than later. Um, so what better way to learn? Hopefully not at least too much money by ruining pieces, but what better way to learn than a way to learn? Um, I mentioned I'll probably go trading and things such before I actually work on customer cars. So, uh, I'm going to wrap this myself and hopefully um, do it successfully. Fingers crossed. And I'm not hiring a professional to uh, finish it for me. Um, so, I'm using Expel Ultimate. I ordered basically kit, pre-cut kits, because I don't have a plotter, um, I don't have other software yet. So pre-cut kits, um, where it allows me to wrap edges, I'll wrap, which I think there'll be some wrapping on the hood. Otherwise, it's pretty, and a little bit on the front bumper, but otherwise it's pretty much pre-cut, so it fits around everything, and I'm fine with that. I don't need every single piece wrapped. Um, it 
it's a dark gray car, uh, you're not you're just not going to see the edges like you would on a white car or a silver car. So um, I'm not too worried about that. So anyway, I'll probably take you through it. So first steps, um, I have a alcohol solution um, and a soap solution. So soap solution is for slip, alcohol is for is for stick. Um, and then this is the uh, uh, forms that I got in the mail. I have not unwrapped anything because I wanted to make sure it stayed pretty clean. My plan is, I got, I got a squeegee too. My plan is um, to do the easy parts first to try to learn a little bit, get the feel of it. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to do um, the pillars first out of the septus, and that's one big piece. But it should be easiest piece probably that exists, one of the easiest, um, and then maybe I'll do the hood, and then I'll start working my way around on some of the quarter panels, probably leave the bumpers for last. So, anyway, these are marked. All right, I'm going to talk you through this, um, just speed things up a little bit. Uh, you know, I go through each roll, each roll is a kit. Um, and then they have some sub kits inside the rolls. So you see me pull them out. Um, but basically, you know, a kit is, for instance, this, you know, the basically the whole driver's side. So the driver's door, the pillar, the, the passenger door, and the rear quarter panel, as an example. Um, um, what I did find out is I did order uh, the A pillar kit, which was not needed. I talked to a salesperson, Expel, and they, they, I don't know if they didn't understand or what, but they, um, they told me I needed that, but the actual um, side kits, so the, the side door kits, actually come with the full pillar versus just the A pillar. Um, so anyway, what you're going to see here is I actually install install the A pillar kit, um, and then I end up having to remove that off camera, and then I reinstall the full pillar, which includes the A pillar, call it the C pillar, which takes you all the way back to the trunk seam. Um, and then I also, you'll see me here, install the, uh, the B pillar as well, which is basically a piece of glass on the side of the Tesla Y where the camera is. Um, just a couple, couple learnings here, right, as I, as I was going through this. You know, first time ever installing PPF. Um, for sure, your number one, number one, number one, um, yes, I said that three times, uh, enemy is going to be contaminants, dirt, dust. Um, what I've ended up doing it, it, oh, after a while into this, as I learned, you know, static, these things get pretty staticky, right? So as you pull the PPF off its backing, you got a ton of static. Um, and what you want to do is try to knock that down. So I did not do that here in the beginning, but I did as I, as I kind of learned a little bit. Um, you want to spray down all the PPF before you even pull it off. So pull, spray the front and the back of the PPF rolls as you're unrolling them and you're getting ready to cut them out and stuff. And that just keeps the, the static down a little bit, which will minimize the amount of dirt you might get. Um, you also see, you'll see me spray um, the painted surface, right? So all this paint is super clean. It's been alcohol wiped. And then I take the slip solution. I'll spray everything down. I'll squeegee it to make sure there's no dust that landed on the paint. And then um, I respray it down. Spray the PPF um, is what you want to do. And as you pull the PPF off its backing, you want to spray the back of the PPF to make sure it's slippery as well and nothing clings to it. And, and by doing all that, that'll help minimize dust. And then the other thing is, you know, you just want to be in as dust-free, dirt-free environment as possible. Um, you know, I know, I you know, learning this and doing this like this, you, you know, when I get my own shop, I'm definitely, you know, definitely going to have a clean room to be able to do this and just make life a lot easier. So anyway, uh, I'm going to fast forward through the rest of this, put some music on, um, and, uh, you know, not for the fan of heart, you know, this, the, a couple of these pieces weren't bad, but as I get into the car, it's definitely not easy. Um, it didn't take me that long um, to do the PPF itself. Uh, you know, the bumpers are definitely the hardest. 
but I learned a lot, and you'll learn as you put some pieces on kind of how it can stretch, how to get air out, and how you, you know where you want to kind of start. Um, every car I think is different, so my guess is as new cars come out, you know PPF installers probably just cut pieces out and um, and learn and make a mistake and start over. Um, I don't have that luxury because I'm not you know I'm buying pre-cut kits, so they're pretty expensive. Um, but it's not as bad if you're buying full rolls and cutting them yourself. Still expensive, but not as bad. Um, so uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoy the, uh, the rest of the video.
Alright guys, sorry I, uh, I've been going here, I'll get you up to speed on everything. I just wanted to start the camera one more time as I kind of finish this panel at this door. Um, so, first time really PPFing. For those experts, if you happen to watch this, which I probably won't, most probably won't, but if I'm doing something wrong, give me feedback. I'm okay with that. <coughs> I'm pretty happy with what I've done. I'll walk you around real fast and I'd like to see where I'm at. I'm not hand cutting or anything, they're all, it's a whole kit. So they're all pre cut for me. They came directly from Expel like this. And frankly, they're cut pretty nice, I would say. Which I'm not surprised by because they have a lot of practice. This door, I did entire pillar top, one piece. I did this little corner next to the, the black trim next to the rear mirror, side rear mirror. I did gas the uh, gas pillar. The electric charging port comes with it. The back driver's side quarter panel, and I did this door. And now I'm finishing this door. Tell for sure until it's out of the sun. I see every little, every little spot. But I'm taking a flashlight, looking pretty hard, making sure. I've had to lift a few pieces up and respray and get some bubbles out or piece dirt out. Um, it's probably not going to be perfect, but I, frankly, I have my I have a sports car. And my wife has Mercedes SUV, and I've wrapped both of them full. And they're never perfect. And I was going to, a, I mean, I was going to a really very reputable, very good shop, detail shop. He's been doing it for a long time um, here in Cincinnati, and it's still not perfect. Still see bubbles, still see edges come up, still see a little dirt every now and then, but in, in general, he does a really good job. This part's going to be interesting. But, with that said, it's been doing it for, jeez, I don't know, probably, I bet you going to keep going for 10 years, probably more. So with this door, as an example, got it off the sheet, sprayed everything down, got it off the sheet, off the back of the board, laid it on. I started at the handle, the same thing with the back, just to kind of give me a starting point. Kind of lined it up, started the handle, tacked it in here, kind of maneuvered a little bit, made sure my edges were looking good, tacked a little bit more, and then I just kind of worked down and out. And uh, I laid down pretty good. I think I'm pretty much done for the heavy stuff. I'm going to wipe it and just take a quick look, make sure I'm not missing any bubbles. And then, if that all looks good, then I'll start taking some alcohol. Just good with alcohol, and I'll get some of these spots that I think are going to pop up too pretty good. And there's a few small little edges that need to be wrapped, but I like wiping it just to make sure I don't miss any air bubbles because you can't see the air bubbles until you wipe the soap, the slope solution off the car.
almost done for the day. So this is where we're at. So I started on with the pillar. It's actually a full pillar piece. So a wraps all the way around. It stops right there. Um, so I don't know if you can see it, but it's tucked just around the edge there, right on the edge. Looks pretty good. Pretty happy with it. I found a little piece of dirt right in here, um, but I just wasn't going to mess with it. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. And then it, this piece wrapped, just wrapped around a little bit on this edge down in, down in here, which is nice because if a rock hits on that corner, it'll be protected, um, which is primarily what I'm worried about on the front clips. So that's done. Pillar, glass pillar piece is, is covered as well. That looks basically invisible. Um, electric recharge cap, recharge port door covered except the reflector. I guess they were not allowed to cover the reflector so the reflector's open. This piece is cut out but otherwise this is one piece. Basically is invisible. This whole rear quarter panel clip done again I'm, I'm very happy I mean you just on this gray it's you just really got to look I did have to stretch this out a little bit when I say stretch I, you know I, I started kind of around here and then I worked my way worked my way down and up and out and I had to really bring this forward if I wanted to be a little short and I got it pretty I mean you can't even see the freaking line I got it pretty close, but I would have liked to get it a little bit, a little bit closer. But I mean, you can't see it with the camera, I don't think. It's there. But this door is done as well, and then you just saw me do the driver's side door. I put, they come, it comes with black, the matte black, all the trim. This kit comes with um, matte black PPF for all of it. I should say this, it comes with the trim PPF. Clear PPF just like the rest of the paint. Um, I actually put this, I, I didn't plan on covering all the matte black trim with PPF. I just don't think it's necessary. Um, but then it came with the kit and I'm like, well, maybe I'll just cover it. But then of course, I, I put a piece on here and I was kind of afraid of this. I put this on the door and it makes it glossy, right? Because it's not matte PPF, it's glossy PPF. They make matte PPF, but um, that's kind of a, that's a, I'll let Expel know that that's kind of a waste of, I mean, if you have, if you have matte trim, you don't want to send gloss PPF because it makes it glossy. I don't want it glossy. I don't think I need to cover it anyway, so none of the trim's getting covered. I'll save the pieces for later if I decide to, to make it, uh, make it glossy. And then, oh yeah, and then this piece, um. This rectangle, this like a, I think it's the only piano black on the whole Tesla, on the Y anyway. Um, it has a, uh, now it has PPF on it. So the only thing I have left to do from here back on this side, on the driver's side, is this mirror. And I think this mirror piece is in the kit for the front, which I haven't opened yet. And uh, that's probably tomorrow or the next day job. So, um, otherwise I'm pretty happy. I, from here, I certainly can't tell much PPF on it. So, uh, day one done, six hours about of just pure PPF work. And I uh, got, uh, got a decent amount done. I'm, I'm happy for the first time learning. And uh, tomorrow's another day, I'll probably open while it's fresh in my head, open the passenger side kit and do exactly what I just did, but on the passenger side. Um, and then day three will probably be, I don't know, we'll see. Probably get the hood done and the front fenders. And then uh, all that's left is the tailgate and the bumpers. So. All right, thanks.
and uh, I'll bring it back for day two, um, doing, uh, doing the other side. See ya.